Hi, my name is Yves Wastein, Product Manager for Fitech Mess Technik. We are here at Embedded World 2020 and I'd like to show you our solution for voice recognition and um, in addition to that beam forming um, together with um, our partner Voice Interconnect. So what you see right here is an application where we show how um, on an iMix 6 um, microprocessor platform um, um, voice recognition system from Voice Interconnect is running. Um, this is a demo application of a paper cutting machine and um, you can um, bring in voice commands and uh, the system will react according to your voice commands. Um, you have microphone, uh, two microphones which can do echo cancellation to get better results of the recognition and in addition we have a system also from Voice Interconnect developed um, with beam forming which uh, um, will uh, uh, listen to uh, only uh, noises from a certain direction either um, as a fixed position or depending on uh, which uh, noise is the highest uh, uh, pitch and then from there on uh, um, it makes a decision where the beam is going. But uh, more in detail, uh, Mr. Martin Wenzel from Voice Interconnect can explain. Yes, hello. My name is Martin Wenzel. I'm a co-founder of Voice Interconnect and uh, I will show you our voice control solution here. Um, we are a cooperation partner of uh, Fitech and uh, we are working together since uh, two years now and uh, was quite easily for us to integrate our uh, voice control solution onto uh, the Mira board. It's an IMX6 based uh, ARM board and our uh, voice control runs uh, as a, uh, like, like a service uh, and um, recognizes uh, commands and uh, yeah, some voice uh, prompts from uh, customers. Um, we have uh, created a system which uh, brings um, demo with it. So if you start the system, you see already a demo, you can try the voice control and you will see how good it is running. Um, the big advantage of this system is that uh, we run completely offline and even more, we have uh, 30 languages available. So we have not only uh, the major European languages, also some Asian languages or American, uh, different American uh, languages are available. Um, in addition to this uh, solution, there's a tool in which you can define the uh, voice dialog. So um, this is quite easily uh, makeable. You can um, uh, integrate your intents, slots and parameters. This is a scheme which is uh, quite used in the industry right now to define a speech dialogue. And uh, the most important thing, you do not have to program something in a high level language. So you can just uh, give examples, mark uh, intents, slots and parameters. And then after that, you can compile uh, a statistic language model and um, semantic uh, model and you can download these models to the uh, embedded board and then you are completely offline. And um, as an uh, acoustic front end we have a beam forming here which uh, Eve just uh, showed you. Uh, with that beam forming you can steer an acoustic beam in a certain direction and you just listen into that direction. All the other noises uh, outside of the beam are suppressed and uh, this leads to a more, uh, far more robust functionality even under noisy conditions. And uh, also this solution is running uh, completely offline onto the uh, uh, embedded system. So um, the, to sum up, the advantage from this system is that you can very fast and easily create a prototype and uh, try uh, the solution for your product. So you've got a, a, a microphone array right. going on here. and This is the, the array. The array is here. How many microphones go through? And you, you're doing this with an IMX6. Yeah, uh, right. Does that provide the full 
kind of like microphone array, like those new trendy uh, smart speakers? Uh, it's similar to that, what is uh, integrated into smart speakers. Um, we have compared it to other solutions and uh, we are, have a superior quality, I have to say that. Um, that our latest uh, algorithms are integrated, they are fully adaptive and um, the uh, software is running on the uh, uh, IMX6. And um, we have also the ability to create uh, several beams, not only just one beam. So with that uh, processor we can handle up to eight beams in parallel so uh, that we have some advantages uh, when you have different speakers like in a conference uh, room where you have to record different speakers and you need different beams and you want to do a voice control or a dictation solution with that. How does it work with all the different beams? Uh, does it automatically figure out where the speaker is and even it's far away? Um, this uh, leads to the question of acoustic source localization. This is a, a software module which is available for that solution, but uh, it has advantages and disadvantages. Um, with acoustic source localization, you typically hear to the loudest noise inside the room. And uh, if you have certain speakers in a conference solution, then you want uh, to record all the speakers in parallel and do a conference afterwards or do a dictation solution afterwards. Uh, but you talk about the IMX6 yeah. platform. Is that that's not the latest, newest one for for voice, is it? But you do everything on this one. You're able to do, and you say that your quality is the highest. The uh, uh, solution we have runs on each uh, ARM V7 uh, so, uh, platform and above. So we are not fixed to the IMX6. We can also go to the newer uh, platforms uh, Fitec uh, has to offer. All right, and, um, and uh, here the Fitec news. Have you been doing uh, stuff with voice a lot? Was this, this is new for you? Well, it's you know it's the next generation of interacting with our systems, right? Um, so what you the advantage of using the for example an IMX6 or any other embedded platform is that you have an alternative way to interact with the system in addition to a typical touch uh, display uh, interfacing, uh, HMI kind of interfacing. So for example, if you don't have the ability to be touching a system because you're, for example, a doctor and you're operating and you want to have your equipment react to what the situation is requiring right now, then uh, you can just talk to the system and the system will react, right? And so th these are kind of new ways to interact with um, embedded systems. And running this on an IMX6 or a SOM um, has the advantage that you still have the typical embedded uh, functionality like displays, like I.O. Co uh, connections, um, like interfacing with touch and seeing what is happening, and in addition, being able to talk to the system and manage it from this from this way, right? Um, was Interconnect works more than uh, 15 years in the field of uh, signal processing, so in the broadest sense. So we uh, do a lot in the field of communication, like intercom solutions, and also since the beginning we have own voice control solutions. And our technology is not a hipster technology, so it's field proven. We have uh, integrated it into several solutions already on the market, and even more, the acoustic language models we use, they are really industrial great quality. We have 30 uh, um, language models available and all of them have the same uh, quality. This is something which I have to point out. So that's why we uh, brought up um, this partnership together with Voice Interconnect because um, it's very, the company Voice Interconnect is from their strategy very compatible to what we are doing, uh, especially ruggedized um, and uh, solid solutions for industrial use. And so um, through our partnership, we can offer a full-on solution. Um, we take care of all the hardware part and the basic um, operating system support. And Voice Interconnect on the other side can take over the tasks when it comes to... There are a lot of uh, 
kind of services uh, necessary which we are providing uh, to integrate uh, a voice control successful into a, produ into, into a product. It starts with the uh, acoustic engineering, so typically you have to integrate a microphone into your product, into your housing, and uh, we can give our customers support with some uh, consultation services to how to integrate the microphone into um, the housing. And uh, in addition, we can adopt uh, the uh, um, solution to specific needs, so we can uh, integrate some uh, software functionalities if necessary. And uh, uh, this, this is a big trend right now, a lot of voice talk in the industry yeah. and you've been doing it for 15 years, so does that mean you invented a lot of it or uh, are you, you working with uh, some famous brands out there or doing some stuff that based on your, on your work? Yeah. Um, in the beginning we uh, were developing uh, own recognizers in uh, German and English. And uh, afterwards, uh, we started as uh, selling these uh, developed algorithms, and we were working for the automotive industry. That were the, the first applications uh, with voice control were seen there, like a hands-free car kit. And we have done a lot of uh, things developing such uh, hands-free car kits. And afterwards, we started in the white goods industry, so household appliances like a voice-controlled coffee, mach coffee machine from Jura. This was one of the uh, first voice control products in uh, 2010. Uh, do you think uh, uh, a lot of the world would be voice controlled in the future? Is it really going to happen? Um, voice control has uh, several advantages uh, in controlling a product. So you have hands-free, you have eyes-free, and also you are more efficient as you can say several commands in one uh, row. So you do not have to go on a touch screen into several submenus and uh, do settings there. You can say everything if you but what you want to control in one row, and this is an advantage uh, over a, a, a standard uh, uh, graphical user interface. 